Now this may be the most important thing Microsoft has ever done, certainly in recent years. It is its first piece of computer hardware that it's built itself, the Windows Surface Tablet. Uh, here's an interesting thing, immediately, this is the cover. Let's just snap it on, nice satisfying sound. Uh, there's an inbuilt little kickstand and there we go. And the first thing you notice about the cover is that it's got an inbuilt keyboard. You can type away uh, very, very soft and light the cover, but the keyboard does work. I have tried it, believe me. So let's go in. Uh, I've slightly personalized this one already. What you're seeing is the start screen. Now this is the Windows 8 RT version of this tablet. Uh, using uh, a version of the operating system, the new operating system, based uh, on an ARM processor. Uh, there'll be a, a Windows 8 Pro version in about three months, which will be aimed more at the really high end, people who want, for instance, uh, the apps that they've used on Windows 7 to be present here. But let's have a look at what this version has got. Well, it it's aims, Microsoft says, to mix the personal and the professional. So you can see it's, uh, it's peopling itself with uh, friends, what the friends are activity, social media activity there, uh, photos uh, appearing there. It's got all the things that you, you might expect. Now let's have a look at the camera. It's got a a front-facing camera, there I am, uh, how wonderful. Uh, so you can do, uh, obviously, quite high-quality uh, video calls using uh, the Skype application. Uh, Microsoft, of course, now owns Skype. Um, let's turn it around, and it faces out the other way. Oh, very low light, but we've got a picture of the cameraman. Give us a quick wave. Thank you very much. Um, so a uh, pretty decent camera, which you would expect these days from any device. Um, carrying on, very important, of course, for any uh, new device these days, is apps. So here is the App Store. Um, Microsoft saying that plenty of developers are now creating apps for this and for uh, Windows Phone. Um, Skype, as we've mentioned, are going to be important to this device and to Microsoft in the future, and a whole range of other apps. So uh, that's the personal. Um, but Microsoft is really pitching this at professionals too. So you, it comes with Word, it comes with Excel and PowerPoint. The idea being that you may want to use this uh, at work as well as at play. It looks a pretty slick, quite impressive device uh, at first sight. But here's the question. Is it too late? Let's just go in and look at the news story. Oh, what's popped up here? Apple's launched a new version of the iPad. Here's the issue. Uh, this is coming out uh, two and a half years after Apple introduced the iPad and sent everybody uh, rushing to imitate it with new tablets. Is Microsoft too late? It doesn't think so. It thinks this will be uh, a, a very attractive device to people who want to mix the personal and the professional. It's priced only slightly below the iPad. And let's not forget there are other tablets coming from the likes of Google uh, and Amazon with its Kindle Fire. But uh, a key weapon now in Microsoft's armory.